By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. <laughs> I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find something to share with? I can't wait! Sayuri and Monica, enthusiastic boy, blue with that. Sayuri's in a wrinkled sheet of loosely formed from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica's wrote hers in a composition notebook. Oh, that would have been like the, the I gotta see Monica's pristine handwriting <laughs> where I sit. Just a smack to the face Look. right there. You got a fucking ripped up spiral leaf loose leaf notebook? Composition that shit. Bitch writing her poem on oh, leaves. Shit, what shit did is whatever. Atsuki and Yuri reluctantly complies without reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. That's really awkward. Who should I read my poem to first? Well, Yuri, right? Yeah. Yeah, we definitely want Yuri to see it because we. So I go Yuri, Monica, Sayuri, Natsuki. That order. Nut. All right, Nut Yuri sucker. first. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. Oh yeah, that's why. I can trust her opinion to be fair. When I march the darsh. Yuri <laughs> 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 stares at the poem. Okay, that's more than enough time for her to finish reading. She looks pissed. Uh, poor you will have no future in literature. This is a family attempt. Um. Ah! Sorry. I forgot to start. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I forgot how words work. <laughs> I forgot to talk you do. It's, it's fine. Don't force yourself. Uh, I'm it's not. <laughs> <laughs> just need to put my thoughts into it. Four. <laughs> okay. 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 Good. This is your first time writing a poem, right? <laughs> I did this. Oh. <coughs> oh, and last. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Harsh. Oh, so it's that bad. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. No! Did I just lose my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was just looking at you and you're like... Yuri has long purple hair. Mm -hmm. Fat tits. Fat tits. Couldn't help but notice it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. So it might take you a while to get used to new people. That's how I feel about this game. Oh, it's fine. I really didn't notice. <laughs> what? What were you saying? Right. Uh, it's just there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Yeah, I feel like it's, her stammering is completely gone. She sounds like an expert. Of course, that's nothing you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is possibly, or probably, the most challenging part. Alright, <laughs> this is the part that makes me don't kill myself the least. <laughs> It it's might take you some time. All right, yeah. but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I think Goose is just a rogue. <laughs> 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 just looking at the floor the whole time. I also <laughs> hope that everyone else at the club gives you valuable feedback. You're in a club? That's lit, dude. <laughs> club Doki Doki Literature Club. That's lit. <laughs> Bro, that's lit! <laughs> that's it can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? 
Uh, First line in years. Well, never mind. <laughs> you give all the lines to Mark. I shouldn't be talking about through. people like that. We just got a Wikipedia fucking article about... It, it's fine. <laughs> I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to yourself, to me, or to not say okay. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. And we get to read her poem. <laughs> I'd love to share my thoughts behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. <laughs> Bro, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? You read it. I I'll can't read that. I'll I'll read, read, it reading it. read it all sweetly. That looks like Japanese to me, man. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to love, which stood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe Collins. Calm. I bathe calm, calm breathing the air. Of the present, but, but living in the, the past, past, the, the light, light flickers. Air. I flicker back. Uh, what does it mean? Look outside the poem, Mary. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's my favorite part of the poem. <laughs> All right. Well, we need to yeah. we need to make sure we know Yuri now. So amber glow. She says bathing a lot. I wouldn't mind watching that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. Flickers. Flick your beam, bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that was a little crass. Was that, yeah. yeah, that was crass. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Flick her bean, bitch. Alright, so... Was, was, Darkness, street lights, blue green. Last one. I, I'm sorry, I have such a terrible handwriting. Oh, that's terrible handwriting. You're right, I couldn't read it. Oh, what? <laughs> I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long oh, time God. to read. Uh, <laughs> well, I just don't read script very often. <laughs> I actually think your handwriting is pretty incomprehensible. Eh? I can That's read it. I believe. Also, I like the poem. Even though it was short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you gonna ghost Yuri? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, big douche. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance it over after all, for a full, like, you know, ten minutes. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their works. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is being symbolically compared <laughs> to a ghost. Well, hold on, that sounds important right there. Yeah. The subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. She feels invisible. Oh. Yeah. Maybe she feels invisible, or maybe she feels dead inside. But she feels the big douche is the one remaining street light yet to be Maybe. consumed by the uh, sickening blue green hue of the future. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't even know Big Douche. I don't None know. None of them know him, but of course what? they want his dick. No, so what are you so. talking to her? <laughs> big Douche has had his face to face in a conversation with this purple haired floozy. Twice. In his whole life, though. That's it. Uh, and so once what, what yesterday, about this, uh, this is the second time. She loves him. Lingering in her last remaining <laughs> place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That doesn't sound promising, actually. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. What was that? It's pretty good. It's I like that really. one. <laughs> well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. Counting on you, Australian, Australian from the Bronx. 
Bronx strength. All right, all right. Bronxosaurus. Oh, who's the next one? Uh, Monica. Monica. Okay, oh, she's the president. Hello, big douche. Having a good time so far? Ah, uh, yeah. Very glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities and things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, let's keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be a three, afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, <laughs> want to share your plan with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha 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 ha. Don't worry, big douche. <laughs> <laughs> We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all let the good pass through. Just look at me stick my ass out for a while. Twerk 2017, baby. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I hand Monica my phone. Hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Yeah, so. You and Sayori are really good friends, right? Because mm -hmm. we fucked it up. Yeah. God damn it. I wouldn't be surprised if you had the sorts of things in common. Oh, well. We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Mm, well, that may be the case. But maybe there are some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get with reading your poem. However, I do not understand these human emotions. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Ha 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 <laughs> oh gosh. I sound like Yuri. I sound like the Yuri. Malfunction. But in any case, so Yuri's writing it has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring emotions like happiness and sadness. We know that someone so happy can enjoy sad things too. Yeah, that's totally Does right. not compute. Let's <laughs> <be> enjoying sadness. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. What I Oh, I'm right, I'm right clicked. Well, I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. Experiencing awkwardness. It can take, take a while before I feel comfortable doing awkward, this. Awkward, awkward. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I always have to find out what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anyone. Ah. <laughs> 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 Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. Sound pretty confident for somebody who claims to not be very good. And who's the president of the fucking club. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way. I'm programmed to feel that way. <laughs> I really sound confident. Thank you very much, Will Robinson. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hold! Hole in wall. Uh oh. It couldn't, ha it couldn't have been me. See, the direction the sparkle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun, but it's too late. My retinas? <laughs> My <laughs> retinas! Sure choice of words. <laughs> Already <laughs> scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. My it's just a little right. hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything, a hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out, and he on the other side was looking in. It's her badge. That's <laughs> That's gay. I was gonna say, my ocular input. Wait, 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 wait. What, my what does that mean, like? <laughs> it's bullshit. She's hiding all of her problems really well in a poem. Hold on, no, 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 this almost sounds like it's... She's, uh, Buffalo, she's Buffalo Bill. It seems like, this seems almost literal, though. Like, look, a noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, I'll never know I wasn't home. The direction, the sparkle protrudes, the hole in a wall. And she doesn't know how I got there. Oh. Yeah. I can't see, I reel blind like a film left out in the sun, but it's too late. My retina is already scorched oh, with a permanent copy of Meaningless Image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. So whatever she saw, she can't forget. That's the symbology of having her retinas burned with the permanent image. That's like some fucking it shit right there. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. 
What the fuck? It's like some insidious shit. So something on the other side of the wall is looking